Okay guys, we're gonna replace this booster pump with this new one. Okay, so we're replacing this old LA-01N Pentair with this new PB460. We're also going to be replacing this pipe fitting uh, where it's cracked. The first thing we need to do is this off the switch, and then we'll cut the old rubber hoses to free up the pump, make it easy to work on. Okay, now we're going to remove the dust cover off the back. and pull it up so that we can have access to the wires. Okay, just looking at the back, you have three connectors, the two main wires, those are gonna both be 120 volt. Then you have the green one that's over to the side, that is your ground wire. So we'll remove all three of those. Got that loose, the electric from it. Sometimes these wires can be quite a pain. But we'll get those pulled apart. Remove the conduit connector. Then we'll pull this old pump out of the way and get rid of it. Okay, now we have our new pump. First thing, we'll remove the dust cap. Remove the screw where the conduit will connect to the side. And we just start putting everything back together. And we want it to end this direction because that's the way the wire comes out. Probably not going to get one more turn. All the way around. Oh, actually, we did. Okay. Okay, then we'll put our wires back in. And they'll go just like they were before. You're gonna have two hot wires and one green one. That'll be your ground. Put the dust cover back on it. Tighten it up. And then reconnect the bonding wire, which will be the solid copper wire. Okay. Right, bonding wire is reconnected. Pump about where we want it. So all that's left is the two pipe connections. The one going in the front comes from the water source. Water source will be in the front, and then out of the top we'll have the return. A package of four connectors. I'm gonna put Teflon tape. Gotta use some sort of thread sealant because it comes from the factory, just bare threads. So we'll put some Teflon on it. Six or seven wraps is usually enough to get a good seal. So snug them up real good. I usually do the pump first once it's taken care of. Then I'll do the connectors going into the pipes. Remove the old pipe fittings or the pipe hose connectors. We'll remove the old hose connectors. And these PVC fittings here, as you can see, actually has a very thin wall. Uh, these are my least favorite because as they get older, they get brittle. You definitely don't want to over tighten going into those. We don't break it. Snug that up. Now it is pretty cold out today, so the rubber hose does not like to um, push in over the the hose connectors, so 
what I found works best is to get the heat gun and we'll warm up the pipe. Makes it slide together real easy and um, extremely flexible once you warm it up. So you may give that a shot if it's if it feels like it's too stiff. See this one, if you can see it or not. There's a crack right there. So we're gonna have to cut this one off and replace this whole piece because that crack in the pipe right there will leak. You can see the difference. This is the one we had. And this the one we're gonna replace it with. See how this one's solid, it won't break out if you over tighten it. Glue the new adapter on it. And then I like to put the hose connector in it first. That way I don't mess up the new glue because it'll still be kind of soft. Give them just a few minutes to dry and then we'll be ready to connect the last hose. This is the pressure side, so again, we're using the metal clamps to secure it just to make sure that it doesn't pump off. Again, we're using our heat gun just to warm it up. It is quite cold outside and this pipe is not flexible at all when it's cold. <clears throat> just makes it a lot easier to put together. Screw that down, do the other side. Quick cut, warm it up. Take that on there and clamp it, and we're just about finished. There it is. Got the pipes reconnected in and out. Got the wire connected. Move our bonding wires down out of the way. They don't look so bad. And we just need to test it. So we'll turn the pump back on. Get good and primed up. Running 30 on the pressure. There we go. Pump is on. We're just looking for any leaks. Make sure nothing leaks. I think we'll call that good. Thanks for watching.